Hello and good morning. I'm Erin. I'm Queen Bee Tarot and I'm here today with your astrology and tarot reading. Actually, before I pull a card, let's talk about what's happening with the planets, you guys. There's some really, really big news. Today is the last day of the sun being in Capricorn, but it is also the last day of Pluto being in Capricorn. And Capricorn represents the old way, the old guard, the machine, the system, the structures that feel like they've always been and sometimes feel insurmountable. And as Pluto moves into Aquarius, it's going to spend quite a few years there. This is a once in 250 years transit. Yes, at the end of the year, Pluto will return to Capricorn for a brief couple of months. But this is the beginning of the end of the old ways. And to add to this monumental occasion, Jupiter and Mercury are forming a really beautiful, helpful trine. And that is an angle of harmony and support. Mercury is our headspace. Jupiter is expansion and together that means that today is going to be a day of really amazing positive energy of hope, of thinking outside the box, of imagining a bright and beautiful future. Uh, really, really cool energy today. To add to it, we also have Venus square Neptune. And what that means is that we are going to have rose-colored glasses. I brought up my rose quartz. We're going to have rose-colored glasses a wee bit today. Now, this is going to be a fantastic day for imagining, inspiring, planning for the future, thinking outside the box, thinking of ideas and, and solution discovery instead of problem solving. However, don't necessarily lock anything in, in permanency, in stone, in writing. Because you're going to be so hopeful and so positive and so, oh yes, 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 this seems like such a grand idea, that you might not be very practical and you might regret any extravagant decisions, extravagant purchases, uh, things like that. So please do, yes, let the day's energy inspire you. Uh, but don't necessarily uh, let it take you off a crazy uh, little train there. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull a card. And as the Sun and Pluto are moving out of Capricorn today, I thought it might be a good idea to think about what is being released. Sometimes we are conscious of what is being released and we're working really hard at it. And sometimes we are not conscious of the ways in which the universe or source or spirit are helping behind the scenes and helping us let go of things that maybe are hard for us to do by ourselves. So we're going to do three little piles, take some nice deep breaths, and I'm going to set out some cards for us. What is being released? What is being released? Okay. Pile one, pile two, and pile three. If you chose pile one, what is being released from you Ooh, is lack of clarity with communication and thought. In this card, we see a fella who is stealing swords from a circus and looking behind his back. His feet are going one way, but his head is going another way. And how often do you find yourself technically moving forwards, but thinking about the past? Or maybe you're walking backwards and thinking about the future. This card is an invitation to be here now. It also invites us to bring divinity into our headspace. If you find that you're struggling with self-limiting beliefs, now is the time to release them. If you find that there is lack of clarity with your communication, either maybe you are not clear with your words, or maybe the people around you are not clear or trustworthy with theirs. Now is the time to take a good look at what is being said, what is being thought, and remember that thoughts and actions combined make deeds and through which we live our lives and we need to think about perhaps divinity. Are we being honorable? Are we being uh, the best versions of ourselves? So if you pulled the pile one, the seven of swords, what is being released is the lack of clarity or the lack of honor or the lack of dignity within your headspace and your communications. If you chose pile two, what is being released? Ooh, we've got the judgment card. That means what is being released is an entire way of being. 
The judgment card comes up when we are leveling up in a really interesting way. We have made life-changing decisions. We have changed our habits, changed our choices, changed every way in which we live our lives, how we think, how we work, how we live. <laughs> Sorry to repeat myself. Judgment is a card from the Major Arcana representing that this is a karmic chapter that you are closing. And what is coming for you in the years ahead is a sense that you have come full circle, but with a clearer understanding. You have left behind ways in which you were not necessarily truly being yourself. And now you have elevated your consciousness in a way that could be compared from the butterfly who no longer remembers being the caterpillar. If you chose pile three, what you are having released from your life, both consciously and perhaps with the help of spirit, is anxiety, depression, fear of the unknown, and to cap it all off, suffering in silence. The Nine of Swords represents a sense of wisdom within the headspace. Perhaps we feel like we have it, perhaps we feel like we don't. Sometimes feeling unprepared or uh, worried about what is to come and, and this sense of the unknown can really trigger huge amounts of panic. Or perhaps we're awake at night with depression or anxiety thinking about the past. Either way, it is time to get these things off of your chest. What is being released is the suffering in silence. And when you find a way to heal, please, if you're really, really struggling, reach out, call a crisis line, talk to a friend. Um, I send you all of my love if you're really struggling, and I'm really glad to see that this is the card that is being released for you because that means that what is coming is a sense of completion and balance and harmony within the headspace. You're worth it. Everything about you is worth it. You matter and you are special beyond measure. So I am excited that you are embracing healing and that is what's coming. Please do take the strength within you to be brave and the sun is rising. A new day is coming. Well, I hope that these cards helped you guys. Again, my name is Erin. I'm Queen Bee Tarot. Uh, I like doing these every single day. Tune in. Uh, like and subscribe if you like these readings. And you can always book a private reading with me at www.queenbeetarot.net. I hope you have a magical day. Blessed be.